broadcast. Now we're broadcasting to all attendees. Wow. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks for joining us. We'll get started in just one second. All right. 12 o'clock. Let's try it. Welcome and thanks for joining us. My name is George Brown. I'm the executive director of the Highlights Foundation. This morning, I'm in our office downtown Honesdale, Pennsylvania. Allison Green Myers, our program director, is joining from the Highlights Foundation Retreat Center. And Christina Osajoglu, our marketing director, is joining from her home office in Cincinnati. Now, you should be able to control where on the screen uh, you're seeing us in the little video thing. Uh, if you scroll over top of the video, you should be able to um, adjust the different views and drag the video um, pieces around so that it fits your screen um, the best way possible for you. So the Highlights Foundation, we're celebrating 35 years of nurturing the love of story for children. Throughout the year, we welcome over 800 guests to take part in our programming. We'll host 45 workshops this year covering every genre and topic and skill level within the kid lit world. Our retreat center is located at the homestead of my great grandparents who started Highlights Magazine on this property in 1946. But before we get started, I just wanna get a sense um, for all of you who are attending. Um, so if you will, I think I've, let's see, I've just launched a poll um, that's asking you how you have heard about the Highlights Foundation, uh, whether you've been here before, you're just learning about it, or um, you've known about it for a little while. Oh, this is fun to watch in real time as um, the poll comes in. I'll give it just a couple more seconds. Great. All right, so it looks like half of you have known about the Highlights Foundation for a while. Uh, some of you are just learning about the Highlights Foundation and a number of you, 25% uh, have been to a Highlights Foundation event before. So thank you all, it's great to meet you uh, new friends and uh, old friends. So the past three years have been an exciting time for the Highlights Foundation as our conference center, uh, affectionately known as the Barn at Boyd's Mills, has come online. Uh, the Barn is the main hub of activity on campus where many of the classroom sessions take place as well as our meals and our informal gatherings and plenty of snacks, beverages, and ice cream too. So here's the Barn, um, some of the yummy food we have. Um, and as our programming has grown, we've been able to reach more writers and illustrators with a passion for story for children and young adult audiences. As we've seen positive results from students we have put in the time and the dedication to their work, we've celebrated with them along their creative journeys. And we'd love to be able to celebrate with you. Today, Allison and I hope to give you an overview of the fall programs um, and whether you're seriously thinking about attending a workshop or just interested in knowing more, um, our hope is that you'll come away from this uh, short session uh, with a little better sense of our programs and what it's like to attend the Highlights Foundation workshop. Um, there should be a chat box in your uh, window so that you can ask questions as we go and then we'll uh, field the answers uh, as we finish up the session. Allison Green Myers is our program director. The really fun part of her job is talking to authors and illustrators about program ideas then figuring out how to build those into workshops where people actually want to come and attend. She does an amazing job finding the right topic, mixing it with the right faculty, and developing an agenda that usually includes group learning time, some feedback on your work in process, and personal time for reflection. Allison, I am excited about these fall programs. Will you jump in and tell us about some of them, please? Sure. Thanks, George. I am excited to talk about the programs with this group. Um, hi out there. Uh, as George said, I'm the program director here at the Highlights Foundation, and I love hearing from writers and illustrators about their learning needs. Um, today, the workshops that I share with you about our upcoming fall programs, um, some of them came directly from 
workshoppers while they were here or people who reached out on social media and said, I need this or I need that. Um, and we were able to develop some programs behind it. Today, during my talk here, just a few minutes, I'm gonna split up our fall programs, um, not by where they fall on the calendar, but really by strand. So we'll talk a little bit about our online programming. We'll talk about programs for illustrators, programs for picture book writers, novelists, and more. Um, and just a little shout out here, those of you who are also interested in our 2020 programs, those are coming soon. We plan on having them up later this fall. Um, and like George said, if you have any questions about the workshops that I'm talking about, please go ahead and post those and then we'll jump back to them um, toward the end of the program. One of our online programs this fall is a special one for debut authors and illustrators. It's a four part online program that will give debut writers all the skills that they need to develop successful promotional timelines and to build community with other debut or newly debuted authors and illustrators. This workshop starts in December, um, but you can start getting information about it now. Another online opportunity that we have is with our popular Getting to Know series. In our Getting to Know series, we host several online sessions and then we come together on campus for a retreat. Um, this fall, we welcome our Getting to Know Your Rhyming picture book. Uh, the workshop is with Diana Murray. In addition to Diana's rich online sessions, at the retreat, you'll meet with editor Nikki Garcia from Little Brown, as well as author Tara Lazar, and author illustrators Jake Basil and Courtney Pippin Mather. Um, other picture book workshops that we have this fall include our picture book biography workshop with Lisa Klein Ransom and Donna Janelle Bowman. There's also still time to register for our Writing the Rainbow LGBTQ plus themes and picture book workshop. This program is part of our Essential Conversation series here at the foundation, and it provides craft focused sessions like the possibilities are endless, one topic, many stories as well as hands-on generative writing opportunities and one-to-one -one manuscript feedback. There are still scholarships available for this workshop as well, so please check that out. We're also bringing back our popular Perfecting Your Picture Book Dummy workshop. This four-day engaging workshop with Floyd Cooper and Melanie Hall will teach author illustrators how to design a picture book dummy for submission to agents, art directors, and editors. I should probably just hit pause really quick going through these programs and define a picture book dummy. It's such a strange name for such an awesome tool. Um, but the picture book dummy is your mocked up picture book where you match text and illustration as you tighten up your pacing and page turns. It's a needed technique for authors and illustrators, really anyone producing a picture book today. And at this workshop, Floyd and Melanie will move you along no matter where you are in your dummy. If you don't have anything started yet, that's okay, they've got you. Or if you're ready to just tighten and then submit, they're ready for you too at this one. We have more workshops for illustrators this fall, including our Writing for Illustrators, which starts later this month. Illustrators will sharpen their writing skills. They'll meet one-to-one -one with other author illustrators and they'll work with picture book agents. This one takes attendees from a story idea to picture book layout and everything in between. Later in the fall, we also have a sold out session called Storytelling Through Drawing for illustrators. Though it's sold out, you can still follow us at Highlights Found on Twitter and Instagram and see the posts from the illustrators that weekend. Uh, that workshop is led by Anna Raff and James Ransom. We also have a few comprehensive courses this fall. That is courses that really give you a broad overview of the industry, like our Writing for All Young Readers with Crystal Allen, Kelly Starling Lyons, and Christy Dempsey. This workshop takes a deep dive into many different types of books, including board books, early readers, picture books, chapter books, and even middle grade novels. This expert team um, have dozens and dozens and dozens of books between them, and they're going to spend time talking about fiction and nonfiction, as well as educational publishing 
and opportunities outside the traditional uh, book publishing track. It really is a great overview of ways that you can kind of enter and then grow a career in writing for children. A little deeper into your own writing, but still with that broad overview of different genres is our Unlocking Your Story, Forms and Genres workshop. In this program, writers will find the most powerful story structure to tell their idea. I can't tell you here on campus or even on social media how many people reach out and ask questions like, could this poem become a picture book? Or is this really a nonfiction story? Or do I have historical fiction here? Or I have a novel in verse, should this really be told in prose? Those questions will be answered at this workshop and many others. Uh, writers will have loads of one-to-one -one time and they'll learn about story structure and then goal setting for turning their idea into the best possible um, project to submit. My next set of workshops that I wanna talk about for this fall are our intensives. And I say that because they're really diving deeply into how we excel at writing for children. Two of the workshops in this strand are career focused and two of them are craft focused. Um, for continuing education in your writing or illustrating career, we have Nurturing Your Artistic Voice, which is led by Carolyn D. Flores and Meg Medina. This intensive asks you, as a book creator, to explore what makes your work stand out in today's market. It asks you to dig in and really think about what drives you, what excites you, what is your mission? And how can you sustain that mission through not just one story, but through a lifetime in books? This is a workshop not to be missed, um, especially if you want to bring your truest artistic expression to your career in the children's book industry. Thinking on voice for a moment, um, a little different, we're thrilled once again to host Patty Gauch's masterclass in voice this fall. While this course, is sold out, we do invite you to read some of the great content on our blog here at the Highlights Foundation website that describes some of that wavy notion of what voice is and how you can penetrate that into your work. Another career-focused intensive is for published writers and illustrators. This retreat, Taking Your Writing and Art to New Levels, explores ways that established book creators can push boundaries and open themselves up to new ideas. This year's session includes talks from Jennifer Jacobson, Gareth Hines, Nikki Grimes, Juana Martinez-Neal, and Padma Venkatraman, as well as two editor guests, Kathleen Mertz and Neil Porter. Oh, they also have their own meditation specialist at this workshop, and that's Laurie Kalkoven, who's also a children's book author. Another intensive this fall is our Craft and Heart of Poetry workshop. If you have interest in or a passion for writing poetry, this workshop is for you. Not only will you receive one-to-one -one attention on your works in progress, but you'll have a complete overview of opportunities for poets within the children's book industry. You will generate poems, a lot of them, as well as get to the heart of language and play when it comes to writing poetry for children. I'm going to spend just a few minutes talking about our remaining workshops for novelists, though I've certainly listed a few already that would be great for our middle grade and young adult authors. Um, Perhaps you need something that's more motivation, more about getting that idea out of you. And that might be our workshop that kicks off the month of NaNoWriMo, um, Jumpstart Your Creativity, an Idea Generator. It's a retreat just for novelists. This, work is, this workshop is really part play, part button chair. Um, the play part will push you to explore new ideas, and the button chair part will really give you time to write, create, revise. This workshop is meant to motivate you, inspire you, and then just get some work done. So it's a great one for novelists at really any stage in their career. Our last two novel workshops this fall are genre-driven. 
Um, we have our whole novel in fantasy and speculative fiction. Unfortunately, or fortunately, um, this fall is sold out already, but we will be posting announcements about the application window for 2020 for that workshop. But perhaps your novel isn't speculative at all. Maybe it's about first love or um, feels like it could be the script from a high school cafeteria today. Maybe your story is sweet and sophisticated. Then you could come to our novel workshop in crafting contemporary stories for teens. At this workshop, you have time to focus on your own works in progress, as well as learn about the craft and the market when it comes to creating realistic fiction for teens. So thank you all for giving me a little time today to talk about our 2019 fall programs. It is, as George said, a beautiful place to work and play here at the foundation. Um, I'm waiting today to welcome a group of unworkshoppers, and I hope I get to welcome all of you to the foundation soon too. Thanks, George. Thank you, Allison. That is a great run through. Um, and we've had a lot of great things happening this fall. I hope all of you can join us uh, at some point. Um, and as Allison mentioned, unworkshops, those are a great way um, just to come spend a couple of days to get some writing done, uh, to surround yourselves in our natural setting and be with other writers and illustrators and free from your day-to-day -day distractions at home. Um, but in an unworkshop, it's just you and your writing or illustrating. There's no curriculum, it's more like, your own private retreat in the woods. Um, and getting here is um, really quite simple. Um, we're within a few hours of a lot of places if you're driving. Also, uh, if you're flying into Newark or Scranton, we'll pick you up on our shuttle. And that's all part of the um, all-inclusive uh, pricing. Our tagline is intimate and inspiring workshops for children's authors and illustrators. We focus on workshops about the craft for authors and illustrators with a passion for story for children and young adults. Um, most of our workshops have between 10 and 20 students. Our meals are shared with everyone. Uh, so you have this incredible exposure to faculty and a chance to really make some meaningful relationships with other workshop students. So both in the classroom setting, but also uh, meal times and during the kind of relaxing free times. Um, so, as I mentioned, our workshop prices are all-inclusive, uh, meaning your lodging, your meals, and your uh, workshop tuition are all one, as well as the airport transport. Um, the food is really yummy. Uh, we get um, lots of great feedback on our food and the care from our hospitality team. And I think, um, you know, part of what we're trying to do at the Highlights Foundation is take care of all of your basic needs and treat you like a part of our family so that you can then focus on the creative work that you're trying to do. You have your story in you and what can we do to make it as easy for you to focus on that story and get it out. Um, we have a robust scholarship program. We provide full and partial scholarships um, as well. We have payment plans that can be as low as $50 a month. Uh, we try to award our scholarships about 45 days before a workshop so you have time to plan your travel. Uh, applications are reviewed by our committee for seriousness of purpose, fit with the program, and financial need. Um, so. I often have a hard time investing in myself, um, and that's what you're doing when you invest in a Highlights Foundation retreat. You're spending money on yourself because you are passionate about your story. So I can promise you that we will take good care of you and that your investment in yourself will be well worth it. Um, we've had countless people tell us how their investment in the Highlights Foundation workshop has moved them light years ahead on their project or on their entire career. So in thinking about this as an expense, which it is, also think about it as an investment in you and in your story. Our rooms are clean and fully appointed. You'll wind up staying in one of three places. Um, the lodge, which is like our mini hotel, which has eight rooms in it. Uh, a cabin of your own uh, with a private bath, a bed, a writing desk, a mini fridge, a coffee pot, everything you might need. Or perhaps you'll stay in our historic farmhouse, uh, my great-grandparents' home where they started Highlights Magazine 75 years ago. 
So uh, signing up is real easy. Uh, you can call Joe Lloyd or you can go online to register. You can reserve a workshop spot for just $200 deposit. Um, and if you choose a payment plan, Joe will be in touch about how much you want to pay per month. Um, and once you're registered, you'll get um, emails from us uh, walking you through the process, leading you, getting your travel information, finding out about all of your needs, and giving you your welcome packet so that you're all set by the time you're ready to arrive on campus. Um, if you're wanting to learn more about craft, but you may not be ready to attend this fall, um, certainly check out our blog where we have new articles coming up every week. And also we just recently launched a podcast this summer uh, called Into the Words, where we're interviewing our faculty who are on campus and trying to come away with some writing and illustrating tips. So I hope you'll take a look at that. Um, and we do, if you want to just learn more about the Highlights Foundation and um, what our um, experience is about on campus, uh, we do have an experience page. Uh, there's a great YouTube video on there that gives you a bird's eye view from the drone of what campus looks like. Uh, finally, a couple more things. The Highlights Foundation is a nonprofit organization. We are separate from Highlights Magazine and Highlights Press. Um, we rely on your tuition dollars and scholarship support to make what we do possible. We believe children are the world's most important people and we serve adults who have a passion for story for children by providing the space, the nurturing, and the teaching that goes into developing story for children. Um, as Allison mentioned, a couple of the things new this year, we debuted our diversity fellowship, which will serve 10 students over two years, and it's uh, built to nurture their creative talents along their paths to publication. Actually, a week from uh, Friday, uh, we'll welcome the 10 fellows and the five mentors uh, to our kickoff weekend, where they'll spend the weekend here at the Highlights Foundation. Um, also, our Essential Conversation series, uh, which Allison referred to, that uh, looking at specific topics in kid lit uh, from a slightly different perspective than regular uh, straight up craft workshops. Um, we had our Jewish symposium this year, cultural competency, writing outside one's own voice, and as Allison mentioned, uh, writing the rainbow, our LGBTQ plus uh, theme picture books workshop. Um, so please um, love to just open up to a couple of questions right now if you're uh, I see there's some being typed in there and um, we'll start to answer them. Thank you all for being a part of this with us. Thanks George and Allison. We've got a lot of questions coming in so I'm doing my best to um, get them all together. I think the first one we have a couple of people who are attending their first workshop um, coming up this fall and they wanted to know um, just maybe about some insider tips that we might have about coming um, to make their stay as great as it can be. And I've actually already got a couple of them coming through. If anybody who's been here before wants to put um, some of your tips in the Q&A, we can say those later. Um, but perhaps Allison and George, do you have any tips for first timers? <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is a retreat center and we are on a 1300 acre uh, forest preserve basically. Um, so if you like hiking and being outdoors, come and be prepared to, uh, with your footwear to um, spend time in the outdoors. Um, we do have some guests who prefer not to be in the outdoors and that's fine too. There's plenty of space inside. Um, be prepared to eat a lot. The food is great. Our goal is to nourish your, your body and mind so that you can do your creative work. And also be prepared to meet a lot of great people. Um, the fun thing about uh, meal times and community time is there's a lot of people focused on story and talking about their writing journey or illustrating journey. So it's really quite nice. So just come and um, relax and enjoy yourself and be prepared to uh, Take it all in. Allison, anything that you have before I read off some of these? I think also that it's um, perhaps a little more casual uh, here. I, you know, um, people will send an email or they'll ask about what to wear, what they're expected to wear, wear what makes you feel comfortable, wear, um, 
what makes you feel creative because you'll spend time on your own doing your own work, your own writing, your own illustrating, and in sessions with other people. But even in those sessions, you're doing generative writing. Um, you're creating if you're at one of the illustrator workshops. So, you know, be comfortable, be confident in, in um, what you want to have here with you. We don't have a dress code. <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, we had uh, somebody write that too. They say, uh, make sure you have casual dress. Uh, remember that there's a yoga instructor um, some mornings. Um, mm -hmm. So that also goes into the casual dress part. Um, some people said to remember the guest book, um, that there's guest books mm -hmm. around in different rooms. Do you want to talk a little bit about that, Allison? Sure. Yeah. Um, so in each of the accommodations, the house, the lodge, or the cabins, we have small journals, as you can expect at a retreat center for writers and illustrators, where if you thumb through in the cabin that you're in, you'll see some people in the children's book industry who stayed in the same room as you and left behind perhaps a poem or a sketch or a note about the workshop that they were attending um, it's something pretty special uh, to look through and it's personalized just for that cabin or just for that lodge room that you're in. That's where they were staying. I do want to add one other thing. I said the thing about um, perhaps being casual in your dress, but also know that we're here together the entire time of your workshop. And so on a schedule, on a piece of paper, it might say that you know, a lecture is running from 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. And we might go until 10.15 or 10.30 <laughs> because we're all here together. And then we might extend part of the talk over meals because we all sit together at meals. And you might have a 15-minute critique with um, an editor who's coming to visit, but that editor will be here for more than just those 15 minutes. So you might spend time with them next to the fireplace talking about your work as well. So there's also that casual feel of maybe your dress or your yourself, but there's also a casualness to our schedule. We really work hard to get through everything we've promised to you, but to also make it feel like it's flowing, that the day is, is really flowing and that um, you, sh you, should know that we're going to get to the things that we promised, but we might just be a little um, more casual in getting there. <laughs> awesome, thank you. And I know a lot of people are writing to all the attendees and the panelists. Some people have said just the panelists, um, if there is a printer, but um, bring a few copies of what you're working on too, um, to make sure, I know there's a lot of sharing that goes on there. Um, so I thought that that was a good tip. Mm -hmm. Um, going through some of this app. There's a lot of people saying just do it <laughs> um, and, and to make it happen for yourself. So I feel like that's a common sentiment and also to just be um, kind of open to all the good things um, that happen there. Um, so, Gina, oh, I'm sorry, I'll interrupt. There's a couple, somebody asked about when the shuttle leaves on the last day of their workshop, but in general, uh, we run a shuttle that leaves right after lunch to get to Newark by, uh, 12.30 it leaves, 2.30, but it gets there by 2.30 or 3 o'clock. Um, so most people, if they're booking flights out of Newark on that last day, will want to get a flight at probably 4 p.m. or later. Um, mm -hmm. But Joe Lloyd, when you sign up, when you're um, talking about your travel, Joe Lloyd can help you uh, with all those pieces. Uh, and there's another question about the getting to know your rhyming picture book workshop and how that web piece works. Um, Allison, just talk briefly again about getting to know your rhyming picture book, how that works, please. Sure. So there's four weeks that are part of the online component, and there are lectures posted each of the weeks, and then there's an open forum for your assignments and questions. Um, and if you look on the website, at getting to know your rhyming picture book, you'll see the agenda for each of those weeks online. Then after the online portion ends, there's a phone call with Diana where you talk about goal setting and what manuscripts you're going to turn in. You'll turn in a manuscript to Diana for one-to-one -one feedback and you'll turn in a manuscript for when you're on campus during the retreat for roundtable critique as well. So you're actually looking at feedback on two different manuscripts during that workshop. 
Um, but that's kind of the online piece flows into the retreat piece. Great. Thank you. Uh, Patricia, yes. Uh, actually, Allison is uh, working this afternoon with Jess Rinker on our first online course uh, for debut authors. And then uh, we will have a lineup of online courses coming out um, probably in the early spring or in the winter time. Um, you should also know they did patch those potholes, so the getting here is a little safer. Uh, let's see. We had, oh, we had some questions about um, the one-to-ones and submission processes. Some people were asking questions about specific workshops. If we don't get to them, you can email contact at highlightsfoundation.org um, to make sure we get to um, your specific questions. I've been trying to get as many people as I can with specific questions. Um, but they were asking about kind of how the one-on-ones work and do you need to submit anything before attending? So do you want to talk about that process, Allison? Sure. So the feedback, we do have a feedback component to every one of our workshops, though they differ depending on um, skill level or um, genre. So some of our workshops, like the whole novel workshop, there's an expectation that you will turn in your whole novel and have the entire novel critiqued. Um, and you'll receive written feedback and then you receive several in-person consultations while you're there during the week for your workshop. Um, another workshop might be a mix of several different things like the getting to know your novel where some people might not have even started a novel when they start to take that course online. And then you have time to prepare a submission. You get feedback from a faculty critique. You get peer-to-peer roundtable critiques facilitated by one of our teaching assistants and you get feedback from an editor at that one. So it's very different and there's different timelines for when you're turning things in. And then another workshop, um, we have that workshop coming up on um, unlocking your story. The only thing that you have to submit for that is either your synopsis or a proposal because they really want to look at the story idea, the gem of the story itself and then talk to you about what structure might look like. So you can see why they wouldn't want you to send in a full picture book manuscript, critique that manuscript, and then when you get here, say, oh, have you ever thought about turning this into a middle grade novel? You know, that, that would be against what they're trying to do at the workshop. So it really depends upon the workshop. We try in the workshop listing on the website to say exactly what the feedback will look like. And then George was talking a little bit about your welcome packet. You'll get a welcome letter from the faculty and from the Highlights Foundation. Um, it could be, depending on how much you have to turn in, it might be a month out or it might be three weeks out that says, you know, you're expected to turn in a draft um, formatted in this way. If it's illustration, here's how you submit your digital portfolio. So we give that information ahead of time and it really is workshop specific. Got it. Anything else to add on that point, George? I have a couple more questions here. Um, people were asking about the uh, special diets or um, how if the kitchen is open all the time like it used to be because apparently they remember a late night kitchen trip. Um, do you want to talk about uh, <laughs> dietary accommodations and also how the food part works? Sure. So we serve uh, buffet style and we work with a lot of local farms to do as much uh, in season uh, farm fresh foods as we can. Uh, and when you register, we ask for any dietary interests or concerns um, so that we can um, take care of that while you're on campus. There are snacks on, uh, and available all the time and beverages. And yes, you can uh, still sneak into the kitchen in the middle of the night if you need a snack for sure. Oh, Liz Rice. Did anyone mention the tote bags? Thanks, Liz. <laughs> Yes, there's <laughs> upon arrival in the middle of your bed, <laughs> you will see a tote bag that has your workshop folder in it, your name tag, the agenda, a, a journal or a, a notebook, a pen, um, a coupon for the bookstore so that you can get a free book in our bookstore. Um, and it's all housed within this tote bag that says the Highlights Foundation on the front. And Liz probably has a collection of, I don't know, 
Um, we've also got a lot of questions in coming in about 2020, um, specifically the essential conversations that are going to be a part of 2020 online courses. I know people are eager for those announcements. So Allison, do you want to talk a little bit about what we've been working on for announcing that? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So 2020 is planned and it's very exciting. <laughs> um, we'll look for a release at um, mid to late October of the entire 2020 on-campus programming, and then slightly later in the year for the online programming. Um, you will be receiving, if you've attended a Highlights Foundation workshop before, you'll probably be receiving some information um, regarding some of the workshops that are coming up. Um, if you're not subscribed to get our emails, I think, Christina, they can do that on the website, right? Yeah, they can subscribe on the website um, or also just email us your email address <laughs> or uh, okay. where we get on it. But the easiest place is on the website uh, for school. Okay. And we have, um, I'm really excited about some of the new faculty that we have coming out to the Highlights Foundation um, with fabulous stories and, and some really exciting workshops. Um, for those of you who have been here before, we usually do maybe 40, 45 workshops a year. I think next year we have 52 workshops planned, plus we have an additional set of customer treats and um, special events on campus, which should be, should be a great year. Awesome. Great. All right. So, and I guess the, uh, the one last thing before we finish, if you're thinking about a workshop, but you're not quite sure, um, give us a call or send us an email and either Joe Lloyd or Allison can really talk you through all the nuances of each workshop and help you figure out uh, what works best for you. So thanks. We went a little over, um, but we got a lot in. So thanks a lot. Any <laughs> if we didn't get your questions, please make sure you email us. I've been trying to get as many people as I can, but please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <laughs>